N700S is the latest Tokaido Shinkansen train. It's manufactured by Nippon Shadyo of Toyokawa City in Aichi Prefecture. The train manufacturing field faces the pressing issue of passing on production technologies and techniques to the next generation. Used for welding is a tool called a torch. Metal is melted with a high voltage electrical current to fill in gaps. Looking at his hands, he's moving the tip of the torch in small increments. It's an advanced technique called weaving. Once the welding is done, it's almost like a wave. This is a skill essential to make the weld stronger. Cleanly polished, the shape of the first car is completed. The lead car of the Shinkansen has a complex aluminum shape and needs to be welded from various positions. In that sense, it requires very intricate techniques. Currently, lead cars can be welded by only five of the 120 workers. What's more, a problem is that welders are increasingly getting older. So, what they made is... A welding dojo. From five years ago, they began hiring more young workers and training the next generation of welders. Taking the role of instructor is veteran welder Katsutoshi Mori. Being instructed is Kokone Toyama, a third-year employee. So far, she's been put in charge of only handling small parts. The work of welding is full of dangers, such as harmful sparks and arc flashes that could damage the eyes. Previously, veterans trained young workers one-on-one, -on -one, but as they increased new hires, veterans had to spend more time on instruction, leading to the problem of reduced productivity across the entire factory. So, what they introduced was an augmented reality welding simulator. Used is this gear. Looking through AR goggles, workers can get a simulated experience of welding. The training begins. When the torch is held at the correct angle and distance, the color of the guide markers turns green. Once that's confirmed, the welding starts. If the torch is held incorrectly, the guide marker turns red. Trainees look at the guide to learn the proper hand movements. This is the result of Ms. Toyama's weld. It seems she still needs practice on the angles. From when I started welding and to the later sections, the angle of my torch moved around, so I hope I can stabilize my movements. The AR simulator points out mistakes, allowing even new hires to train on their own. For instructors, there's also been a significant improvement in efficiency. When I joined the company, we didn't have anything like this, so they didn't even let me hold a torch for about a year. With the shape and materials of the Shinkansen changing, various aspects will also change, so training needs to keep up with the times. This AR welding simulator is used not only to train new employees, but also for the purpose of getting mid-career and veteran employees to recognize their habits. Welding used to rely on experience, but making some techniques more visual will help improve work reproduction.